Hey guys, it's Joe from Digital Phantom, and today we're gonna continue on on the PHP GTK library on development, uh, in which we're gonna develop desktop applications with PHP. And in this particular tutorial, we're gonna be handling the click event or the click signal on PHP uh, on a PHP GTK button. Okay, so for short, I'm gonna be referring to PHP. I'm gonna be referring to the PHP GTK library as the PHP as PHP. Okay, so just keep that in mind. When I say anything about related to the PHP, I'm gonna be relating to PHP GTK library. So let's get started with that because this is another tutorial of the short secret series which the tutorials hopefully are under seven minutes. So I'm gonna do my best to keep this under seven minutes. So we have our regular window here, desktop uh, folder, and then I'm gonna create a new text document. And I'm gonna rename it to window.php. Oops, no, sorry. Rename window, window.php. Okay, great. I'm gonna use Notepad++ as my window, as my editor, because uh, I like Notepad++. So let's open that up with Notepad++, and let me move my window to the right place. And then when I open, close the PHP tags. Great. And then let's start with the window. Dollar sign window. Window equals new GTK window. Okay, so as I told you, we're gonna be handling click signals. So window. So I'm gonna set the title to the window, and of course you guessed that title is gonna be signals handling. Okay, and we're gonna start handling signals here. Window, connect, simple. This is how I handle signals on, on, uh, PH, on PHP. So, uh, destroy, that's a signal that it's generated when the user clicks the close button on, uh, on the window. And then you're gonna pass an array, and that array first argument is the class, of the, of the object that is going to handle the uh, uh, signal. And the second one is a method for that um, class that's going to be handling the signal. And the method will be main quit. Okay, so we've got that for now. And we're going to add two buttons to handle more signals to the screen. Button one equals new GTK button. And the constructor takes the label, so button one. And then I copy that, I'm gonna paste it, and we're gonna rename it to button two. Why not? Why type that, all that again? So, button one, connect. Okay, in this case we're gonna use connect instead of simple connect. Those are two ways to handle that. So, signal clicked, sorry. And then the function that's gonna handle that is signal clicked. So that's, in this case we're gonna, you're using different things. You see here that we're using an array and here we're just using plain text or string. That's because um, we're just calling a function here. And we're calling a method inside a, a class up there. So we don't have this function generated yet. So we're gonna build the function. I mean, we, we didn't have that function uh, written yet. Signal click. So that's the function. And this function is gonna take one argument. And that argument by the connect. Uh, uh, method is always going to the first argument is going to be uh, the argument that's going to take on this function is a, uh, an object of the GTK button class so we're going to echo to the console the label of the button get 
label so just to know which button was clicked and then we're gonna put was clicked then new line character okay so that's good for now and then we're gonna add those two buttons to a button box and then this is button box BB for short new GTK H button box so that's a new GTK horizontal box and then BB we're gonna set the layout so those both buttons are to the edges aligned to the edges set layout and then we're gonna call the constant the static constant uh, button box edge and then bb add button one i'm gonna try to get this under seven minutes so i'm hurrying up because our time is almost up okay window add BB then window show all okay and then GTK main so this is a regular format that we have to follow the regular procedure so now let's start the run program so new text document run that bat bat yes and re no rename it's edit with notepad plus plus again what is it don't get loose and then start php window that sorry went on over seven minutes okay well on there's over seven minutes so i'm sorry for that so let's open this up and this is what we get well seven minutes and in change okay that's fair enough. Uh, button one was clicked. Button two was clicked. Button one was clicked. There you go. Multiple clicks. Multiple clicks. Multiple clicks. Multiple clicks. So that's the way we handle the button click event. And then I'm gonna show you here how do you. you uh, the, well, this is what you get by default. And then we're gonna add the button box to the window, and we're gonna display the window. So that's what you get. So guys, don't forget to. Uh, Subscribe to my channel, to my YouTube channel, to keep track of my videos and tutorials. And be also uh, a fan of my Facebook page at Digital Phantom. And be also uh, a follow, follower of my Twitter account at Digital Phantom. So you guys don't miss out on my new tutorials and videos. So if you like this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, like them, comment on them, do everything that helps a lot if you want other people to know about my videos if you comment on them and you interact with them a lot of people will know about it so keep in touch and see you next time